So now we're just taking the car out for a quick little spin because Amir is not really happy with the sound. Welcome to another episode of Project Abar. Now in the last episode we were telling you guys that in this episode we are going to be fitting the Garrett uh, intercooler for the Abarth Punto but unfortunately that thing hasn't arrived yet. It's coming from Mexico and we don't have any sort of tracking idea or anything to know where it is so it's just a game of patience with that thing. So today we've gotten the opportunity from Amir to get the exhaust done because it's very tough to get a slot basically at the shop. So luckily we've gotten the slot for today and we're going to head down to IES Performance uh, from Mechanics Automotive to get the exhaust done. But while we're here, I just want to show you some cool cars around. So these are OZ Racing rims and I think these are the sickest looking rims I've ever seen. Uh, this might fool you into thinking that it's a center lock but it's actually not. You have your normal 5 nuts over here. But I think so these look the part. This is as you guys know the all-wheel drive VRS 245. 420 horsepower, it is absolutely insane. Four and a half seconds, zero to 100. I mean, this is just insane. Now, this might look like a pretty stock looking Audi A6, but it's quite a monster underneath. This is an A6 3 liter TDI V6, and it's been boosted up to stage three. And the power figures are absolutely insane. I don't want to reveal them now because we will be doing a proper video on this. So, watch out for that. As you know, our TSI and TDI. TSI is actually getting a little darker, he's turning into a TDI. So, not really sure what that is about. But yeah, we've cleaned them a little bit on them. It's time to go. After an hour or so, we reached IES Performance and we immediately started getting to work. The Abarth's factory exhaust system is one of the most restricted out there, with a massive resonator and a massive muffler. It weighs quite a lot and restricts tons of performance. The plan was to keep the resonator and make a new performance muffler while cutting off the OEM tip and welding it onto the new muffler. Have a different position, hmm. and the outlet is over here at the bottom section. Hmm. So, what happens usually in this when you see this, it's usually going to have baffles inside it and it's going to have an assembly. So, for example, the pipe will be coming over here, there will be a pipe in the middle, and a pipe from here. So, the gas will come in, roll in like that, roll over here in the mid chamber, then come out, then go from here, roll in this chamber, and then go out. So, that is basically how a muffler usually works. It's, it's not like the exact way, but not like a rough. Working yeah, so mufflers they usually need to have gases hmm. rolling inside them for some time. And so we're gonna cut the tip from like here. Right? No, we're gonna cut, uh, cut it like right at the edge over there ha. from this welding section over here. Ha -ha. And then we'll be getting a two and a half inch pipe hmm. and we'll uh, weld it. reduce it and weld it over there. Okay. So that will be on the spot because we need to just check the positioning and everything yeah, on the tip. Yeah. Otherwise, everything else can be done inside. So ah, this yeah. is the old exhaust. Uh, the good thing about this exhaust is that it's actually on like gaskets kind of thing, so you don't have to really uh, like cut anything off like how it uh, was done in the Laura. So that's a big plus point. So this is the older uh, muffler. As you can see, it's absolutely massive, and I think so. Ahmed did a very good job in explaining how the muffler works. So we're going to be reducing this to a smaller muffler basically, so that we get more noise and more of a free flow exhaust. Uh, when it comes to the tip, like that I said, we're going to be cutting off the tip from just over here before the bend, so that the tip remains stock basically. And then a two and a half inch down, uh, two and a half inch pipe will be added to the muffler, so that it's like a completely straight unit. And then we're good to go, and the abart will now sound insane after that.
So one process that got reduced in today's uh, episode was creating the muffler. So they actually pre-planned it and they had uh, kept the muffler ready since Monday. Today is like Thursday, I'm guessing. So the muffler is ready. So we don't have to show you the process of creating the muffler. Pretty standard muffler to be honest. So inside there are no baffles or anything of that sort. They use ceramic wool which is basically like the sound deadening thing to reduce the uh, droning of the car. So yeah, the muffler is reduced and if you see a side by side comparison, this is absolutely massive. This is literally less than half of its size and that is going to help us create that free flow effect that we want and this is definitely going to add some more acceleration and energy into the car when you're accelerating. Don't worry, we weren't welding the exhaust on or anything like that. But basically we were checking the fitment and dimensions of the new muffler and how it will fit into its housing and to make sure there's enough clearance and the exhaust doesn't rub against anything. While the boys were doing that, we quickly went out for lunch and hogged. So we're back from lunch and everyone has started to work again on the cars. So before we headed out for lunch, basically the guys over here were testing out the fitment of the new muffler and the tip and how it's working out and if there's any sort of uh, fitment issue or anything. So uh, basically they've like welded a few pieces of metal uh, near the car now just to you know like hold it into place and understand the fitment. So I think so after that we'll be uh, crafting the bent pipe of the car and then doing some more fitment changes etc etc and then maybe in another 3-4 hours probably the car should be done. exhaust as you can see absolutely huge muffler and it's very heavy you have no idea how heavy this is I'm actually kind of feeling like I'm in the gym right now that's how heavy this thing is so we just cut the tip off and now this is the brand new exhaust very slick nice silver paint on it and we've cut off the original tip so it gives it that OEM plus look and hopefully after this the car is going to sound insane so let's get on to fitting the exhaust So now we're just taking the car out for a quick little spin because Amir is not really happy with the sound. He thought the car would be louder and he's thinking of deleting the resonator because that seems to be muffling the sound quite a lot. Definitely the car has become more bassier and more louder but you were expecting a little bit more volume so we are just going to check out first how it feels, how it sounds when you're actually driving it and accordingly we'll make the changes if necessary. And while they are going to be in the Punto, I'm going to be driving. Uh, Amir's e-tuners stage 2 Polo GTTSI because why not I just want to see how it feels so yeah let's head on out now okay so what's going on right now is that we've come out for a test drive uh, because um, after we put the muffler onto the car when we started in the workshop at that time it definitely had become slightly louder and it had definitely become so much more bassier but it was not as loud as we thought it would be. So we just come for a test drive to understand and see how it actually fares in the real world scenario and to understand how loud it is when we're actually driving down the road. 
So we just come for a small test drive around the area only to understand what's going on. <laughs> I know the DQ200 isn't the best gearbox out there but there's just something about a dual clutch transmission that you can't replace as you as most of you all know I've gotten the new Skoda Kushak 1 liter automatic which has the 6 uh, speed torque converter and that is nowhere near as good and as smooth as this 7 speed DSG it's insane and amir has done an insane job on this exhaust it sounds amazing the dsg farts the note of the car everything is so good so good and uh, it's running a e tuners india stage 2 remap uh, with a downpipe and this exhaust system and really nice really nice i wish i wish i had fitted uh, an exhaust system to my polo g dsi so we've come back to the workshop now and now we're just testing out a few things so like i said the uh, resonator seems to be the main problem in muffling the noise more than the muffler to be honest so we've removed the new performance muffler and we're going to start the car without it just to see how it sounds with just the resonator As you saw and as you heard, uh, the resonator seems to be the main issue when it comes to the uh, engine note not being that raspy or that uh, high pitched I would like to say. Uh, the bass is there but uh, it's really not that much louder compared to the stock uh, muffler. So what we've decided to do is absolutely delete the resonator. So we're going to be doing that so we'll be cutting it off and putting a straight pipe over there. So basically you can now say that the car is a proper turbo back system. Uh, the car has a proper turbo back system uh, so yeah we'll be deleting the resonator and then after that we'll go again for a test drive and then we'll see how it sounds then the mechanics automotive uh, it was a very long day surprisingly the work got finished by 6 30 which is unusual because usually when we go to IS performance we were expecting to come back and at least leave the place by like 7 38 um, that's just because it's a very time consuming job you can't really do too much but the good thing that uh, IS performance had done this time was to keep the performance muffler ready so that saved us quite a lot of time and they did the resonator work very quickly so in the end what we basically did was uh, basically make an all new uh, system which connected the resonator uh, the resonator delete all the way back to the exhaust as well so that whole new bent pipe and everything was connected and done within 2-3 to three hours which was insane work by uh, IES performance now we're back over here I think you must have seen some clips of the car going through the gears and like revving a little bit we're going to show you some more there's a stock apart with some exhaust modifications done inside so I'll show you how that sounds and then I'll show you how this sounds and let us know in the comments down below how you like the sound. So I was a little bit wrong, this thing has quite a lot of mods. Apart from a downpipe, uh, it has the complete exhaust system basically, performance muffler, resonator delete bhi hai isko. It has everything up except the downpipe, so resonator delete, uh, performance muffler and I think so it's running a tune as well from e-tuners. So let's see how this one sounds. I'm not sure where it's been made from but let's just check it out. Now let's 
बेस्ट चेकआउट था ना इसका That's it for this video. Hope you like the sound of the new exhaust that the Abath is making, and we'll see you in the next one. I'm super tired. Bye bye.